Taif Arabic, at Taif is a city in Mecca province of Saudi Arabia at an elevation of 1,879 meters (6,165 feet) on the slopes of Sarawat Mountains, Al Sarawat Mountains. It has a population of 1,200,000 people and is the unofficial summer capital. The city is the center of an agricultural area known for its grapes, pomegranate, figs, roses, and honey. Topic. Ethnography The inhabitants of Taif are largely made up of Saudi Arabian tribes. There are also significant foreign populations of expats, primarily from Asia, Turkey, and other Arab countries that are also present in Taif. Topic. History Early history In the 6th century the city of Taif was dominated by the Banu Thaqif tribe, which still lives in and around the city of Taif today. It has been suggested that Jewish tribes who were displaced by Ethiopian Christians in the Himyarite Kingdom Wars settled near Taif. The town is about 100 kilometers 62 miles southeast of Mecca. The walled city was a religious center as it housed the idol of the goddess Alit, who was then known as the Lady of Taif. Its climate marked the city out from its dry and barren neighbors closer to the Red Sea. Wheat, vines, and fruit were grown around Taif and this is how the city earned its title, the Garden of the Hejaz. During the Year of the Elephant, this city was involved in the events, both Taif and Mecca were resorts of pilgrimage. Taif was more pleasantly situated than Mecca itself and the people of Taif had close trade relations with the people of Mecca. The people of Taif carried on agriculture and fruit growing in addition to their trade activities. Topic 620 Muhammad era. Topic 630 The Battle of Hunain and Islamization. In AD 630, the Battle of Hunain took place at Hunain, close to the city. Shortly after that, the unsuccessful siege of Taif took place. The city was assaulted by catapults from Banu Dawes, but it repelled the attacks. The Battle of Tabuk in 631 left Taif completely isolated, so members of Thaqif arrived in Makkah to negotiate the conversion of the city to Islam. The idol of Al Lot was destroyed along with all of the other signs of the city's previously pagan existence. Topic 1517: Surrender to the Ottoman Empire. On the 17th of July 1517, the Sharif of Mecca capitulated to the Ottoman Sultan Selim I. As a sign of this, he surrendered to him the keys of the Islamic cities of Mecca and Medina. As part of the Hejaz, Taif was also given over to Ottoman control. Topic 1802 to 1813: Retaking by the Saudi and reconquest by the Ottomans. The city remained Ottoman for a further three centuries, until in 1802, when it was retaken by rebels in alliance with the House of Saud. These forces then proceeded to take Mecca and Medina. The loss was keenly felt by the Ottoman Empire, which viewed itself as the protector of the holy cities. The Ottoman Sultan, Mahmud II, called upon his nominal viceroy in Egypt, Muhammad Ali, who launched an attack on the Hejaz and reconquered Taif in 1813. Topic: 1813, Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. In 1813, the Swiss traveller and Orientalist Johann Ludwig Burckhardt visited Taif. He left an eyewitness account on the city just after its recapture by the Muhammad Ali, with whom he obtained several interviews while he was there. Burckhardt reported that the wall and ditch around the city had been built by Othman el Medhaif. There were three gates and several towers on the city walls, which, however, were weak, being in some places only 45 cm thick. Burkhart stated that the castle had been built by Sharif Ghalib. He noted the destruction of the city caused by the conquest of 1802. 
Most of the buildings were still in ruin while he was there, and the tomb of Abdullah ibn Abbas, cousin of Muhammad and ancestor of the Abbasids, had been severely damaged. He also recorded that the population of the city was still mostly Thaqif. In terms of trade, the city was an entrepot for coffee. Topic. 1843, building works in the 19th century The castle and military barracks in Taif were repaired by the Ottomans in 1843, a Hukume Kanagi mansion for government business, was built in 1869, and a post office was established sometime later. Topic. 1916–1924, the Arab Revolt and Hashemite control Prior to the Arab Revolt, Ahmed Bey had been made the commander of Ottoman forces in Taif. He had under him a force of 3,000 soldiers and 10 guns of the mountain artillery. Ghalib Pasha, the governor of the Hejaz was also present in the city. In 1916, the Hashemites launched their revolt against the Ottoman Empire in Mecca in June. That city had fallen and then in July, Abdullah, the eldest son of the Hashemite leader and Sharif of Mecca Hussein ibn Ali, was sent with 70 men to Taif. Whilst his activities in the area aroused the suspicion of Ahmed Bey, Ghalib Pasha was unconcerned by so small a force. Abdullah secretly built up his army to 5,000 men. He then cut the telegraph wires to the city and then went on the attack. All Hashemite assaults on the city were repelled by the mountain guns, and both sides settled down to an uneasy siege. However, Hashemite guns were slowly brought up to Taif, and then the city held out a little longer, it finally surrendered on of September. The city thus later became a part of the self-proclaimed Hashemite kingdom of Hejaz. 1924 Present, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Topic. 1924, conquest by the Ikhwan under Abdulaziz al Saud Taif did not remain in Hashemite hands for very long, however. Tensions between the king of the Hejaz, Husayn ibn Ali, and Abdulaziz al Saud, the Sultan of Nejd, soon broke out into violence. Although hostilities subsided in 1919, by September 1924 the then Saudi-sponsored Ikhwan militia under the leadership of Sultan bin Bajad and Khalid bin Lawai was ready to attack Taif. The city was supposed to have been defended by the king's son, Ali, but he fled in panic with his troops. Three hundred of Ali's men were slain by the Ikhwan in what became known as the Taif Massacre. In 1926 Abdulaziz al Saud was officially recognized as the new king of Hejaz. Taif remained a part of the Kingdom of Hejaz until Abdulaziz al Saud unified his two kingdoms into one under the title of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 1932. In 1934, the treaty was signed here that established the boundary lines between Yemen and the kingdom. The king himself was later to die in the city on 9 November 1953, as did King Khalid in 1982. 1940s, modernization under the Saudis Taif was still little more than a medieval city when the Saudis took control of it. However, they later embarked on a project of modernizing the city. Saudi Arabia's first public power generator was set up in Taif in the late 1940s. In terms of building roads to the isolated city, in 1965 the then King Faisal inaugurated the 54 miles 87 km mountain highway between Mecca and Taif, and in 1974 the 400-mile Taif Abba Jizan Highway was started. By the 1991 Gulf War, Taif was such a modern city in terms of communications that it was chosen as the site of the Rendon Group's television and radio network, which used to feed the news to Kuwait during the occupation of Kuwait by Iraq. Topic. Places to see Al Rudif Park, a large natural park in the south of Taif, where trees stand amidst magnificent weathered granite rocks. The site also has a small zoo. Wadi Mitna, Muhammad's sanctuary in 619 AD. Muhammad came here to gain the support of the Hawazin and the Tafiq but was stoned by the tribes. 
He was later given sanctuary by his fellows in a small house now used as a mosque. Taif Rose Plantation. In the month of April, the rose fields are filled with these small fragrant pink roses that are picked at dawn and later distilled into expensive Taif Rose oil. The famous rose of Taif is the 30-petal damask rose, which has a robust, spicy, and dizzyingly complex scent which has been used in several luxury perfumes, including Ormond Jane Perfumery, Chanel and Guerlain. Shubra Palace, the regional museum of Taif, located in a building of around 1900, which served King Abdul Aziz as a lodging in the 1930s at several places on this page about Taif. Rock carving site, located 40 kilometers 25 miles north of Taif, this was the site of the Okaz Souk, the largest and best known of the pre-Islamic souks or gathering places. The souk was a scene for annual social, political and commercial gatherings. It was also the location of competitive recitation of poetry and prose. The buildings remain, including prominent outlines of walls of basaltic stone. Turkish Fort, the remains of the fort are located near the rock carvings. Legend has it that Lawrence of Arabia fought here in 1917. Many battles have been fought there and many graves can be found. Nature Reserve, between Al Hada Hospital and the Sheraton Hotel at the top of Al Hada Mountain is a large nature preserve at an elevation of 2,100 meters above sea level. Al Hada means, tranquility, and this preserve of trees and plants offers a true respite. It is also good location to catch the sunset over the mountain. Al Shafa, a small village situated high upon the Sarawat Mountains at an elevation of 2,200 to 2,500 meters above sea level, rich in agricultural products. The fruit gardens of Taif are located here. Great view for the camera buff and for those with an adventurous heart, try a camel ride. Topic. Transportation When driving to Jeddah from Taif, non-Muslim travelers will have to use the non-Muslim bypass to get around Mecca, this adds about 110 kilometers 70 miles to the trip. Taif has an airport, Taif Regional Airport, offering both domestic and international destinations. The airport is located 30 kilometers to the east of Taif, and 70 kilometers 43 miles from Mecca. Climate Taif has a hot desert climate Köppen climate classification BWH, with hot summers and mild winters. Temperatures are not as extreme in summer as for lower-lying regions of Saudi Arabia. It is much cooler in Taif during the summertime than it is other parts of Saudi Arabia, particularly Riyadh. Precipitation is low, but all months see some rain, with more rain in spring and late autumn than in other months. Economics Historically Taif grew roses, which were distributed throughout Central Asia. List of inhabitants The historically well-known tribe of Thaqif still lives in and around the city of Taif, Utaiba typed Otaiba Arabic, typed also spelled Otaiba, Utaiba. Otebi, and Udiba is another Adnani tribe who still lives in Taif. Bani Harith is one of the Qatani Arabs tribes living around Taif in Saudi Arabia. The tribe is one of the biggest tribes in the area and occupies the full area between Taif and Al Confutha in Saudi. Bani Adwan is one of the Adnani Arabs tribes living originally in the northern part of Taif, and in the southern part of Jordan. Tu al Isba'a al Adwani in Arabic is a poet and a man of wisdom of the tribe in the pre Islamic era. Furthermore, Banu Thabet are people descended from Thabet. The tribe is originally part of Otaiba clan. <laughs> Chieftains During the pre Islamic era, the city was populated by the tribe of Thaqif. The city had then the following chieftains. Urwa ibn Masid, Abd ya Layl ibn Amr, Uthman ibn Abu al Azand, at least four others. Topic: <laughs> People born here. Al Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, Umayyad Caliphate era governor of Iraq. 
Muhammad bin Qasim, the general who conquered the Sindh and Punjab regions along the Indus River. King Faisal I of Iraq Naif bin Abdul Aziz Uthman bin Affan Mitlak Hamid al Otaybi, a member of the Faculty of Sharia at the University of Umm al Qura, Sultan Sharif Ali, the third Sultan of Brunei Darussalam, Hani Hanjour, 9 11 hijacker pilot who crashed American Airlines Flight 77 into the Pentagon. <laughs> People who lived in Taif Muhammad bin Qasim Uthman ibn Affan the third Rashidun rightly guided caliph caliph born in Taif Midhat Pasha 1822 to 1884 architect of the first Ottoman constitution who was strangulated in Taif Muhammad Musan Khan Hadi Suan al-Samaili b 1970 first Saudi Olympic medal winner Adiz, a young Christian slave boy who was the first person from the western province of Taif to convert to the religion of Islam. Abd Allah ibn Abbas died here. Talal Mada, an Arabic song icon who lived a great deal of time in this city. Also had performed concerts in it, worked in the post office in his early life. One of his remarkable songs is a tribute to the city titled by Gina Min at Taif, in which he describes the beauty of both the city and its charming weather. Furthermore, Taif is flirted in other occasions and songs, for examples, Ya Misse for Allah at Taif, by Abu Bakir Salim and others. Hugh Kennedy, the Prophet and the Age of the Caliphates, Martin Lings, Muhammad, his life based on the earliest sources, John Lewis Burkhart, Johann Ludwig Burkhart travels in Arabia, comprehending an account of those territories in Hejaz which the Muslims regard as sacred, online version available free from the Gutenberg Project Michael Asher, Lawrence, the uncrowned king of Arabia David Holden and Richard Jones, the House of Saud See also Al Kateb House, Banu Jadima, Taif Agreement, Utaybah